Hi everyone, Trev Philp here from Pack Seeds. Just a quick update on some of the planter setup trials that we did at the foundation farm last week. Miguel from Precision Setting Solutions, myself, we had a little uh, muck around with downforce pressure and having a look at the effects on the side wall, the side wall compaction, and how well we're forming that furrow and how much dry dirt that sort of thing is falling in. So we've got 15 kilos on this row unit. 30 on this one, 45 on this one, and 60 kilos on this one. We've pulled the press wheels up so that we could have a look at the furrow wall uh, formation, whether it was going to crumble in or whether it was too firm. So if we have a quick look here, so we've had no press wheel pressure at all. We've got seed firmers on. You can have a look at this little seedling down here. He's shot. I do have another one dug up as well. So they've actually shot by just being pushed into the bottom of the actual trench and you can see how soft that is it's just beautiful subbed up perfect we were a little worried that was a bit soft as we go over you can actually see that extra 15 kilos we've got a bit of a side wall it's still relatively crumbly but we do have that little smear mark it's still soft enough probably to break up and it's wet in that trench as well it's softened as we've gone harder or with more downforce, you can see we've got a more obvious smear mark. We've still got a little bit of cracking in there. Now this is the really interesting one because this is the heaviest weight that we've got. But we've also got these fluted discs on here which will help to break up that side wall and help it to crack out. And it really has done a good job of that. So there's a little bit of there's a little bit of smearing that's quite fine, and the rest of the wall has just broken up nicely and it's more like the 30 kilos of downforce, not the 45, so the 45 looks the worst. So that fluted disc has done a really good job. The other thing we did was we moved a little bit of dirt away down this end and it really did help get rid of some dry dirt that was falling in behind the discs. We'd have to drag a chain if we were gonna do that in, in real life. But interestingly, we pulled the firmer out of this row and you can see We've got dry seed because it didn't make the bottom of the trench and it was just mixed in with some of the loose dirt. There's a couple of those there. And now right next door, where we've got our firmer on, we've got a nice little seedling there and he's shooting. So some pretty interesting stuff. Stay tuned. Uh, if you want some more information, uh, give us a call or jump onto the website and send us a message.